there now you know all my secrets. So go yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go make vegan cheese company. <laughs> I'm gonna be your competition. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
smaller artisanal vegan cheese companies that are cropping up and I support all of them. The only way we can make change is for all of us to hold hands together and grow the category. This facility right now exists in an area where there's a lot of dairy producers. Oh yes, farm, yeah, dairy cows everywhere and then we're right next door to a dairy cheese company. Uh, there's lots of them around here. The contrast is very interesting. How has been the reception from the community here? Actually quite good. I mean, there are, there are some people that have been outright, you know, why do you call your products cheese? We've had those kinds of people. And then we've had people that are like, you know, people next door actually. Some people there are like, hey, I, I love your stuff. I buy it at the store. So there, it's, it's a mixed bag. Right. But you know, what we want to show uh, farmers that are struggling today with plummeting milk sales is that the plant-based economy is actually not the threat, it's the solution. There, if you have land, if you have processing facilities, why not start growing crops that can become a supply chain to our products? What's going on with the dairy industry at this point? Dairy's been struggling for a long time. You know, there's 1.4 billion pounds of cheese that's stockpiled in this country that they can't sell. Dairy farmers are committing suicide at an alarming rate. Uh, farms are closing down almost every single day. It's a really, really hard situation for farmers because the economy is changing, because American consumers, are, our taste buds are evolving, and because of these large conglomerates that are swallowing up small farms and putting them out of business, it's a very, very complicated problem. So we need to create a new economy that's based on compassion, that's based on respect for not only animals, but the farmers themselves. And I believe that the plant-based foods industry is, can be that solution for them. So you have this animal sanctuary, so clearly you care a lot about animals. Part of the horrible side of the dairy industry is the treatment of the animals. There's a huge range of how animals are treated. You know, right. some, so out here it's relatively good, but there are some practices on any dairy farm that exist. One is that, when, uh, that animals are always artificially inseminated on a yearly basis and between the ages of four and six or so, their milk productivity goes down, so they're slaughtered. After the baby is born, the calf is taken away and raised in isolation in these little hutches. And it's very, very painful because animals have feelings. I have animals, mother and daughter, etc., and their bond is so strong. So you're breaking that bond at birth, which is really tragic. We've got pigs, cows, goats, sheep. So the barn's over there. And the animals have about seven acres that's completely enclosed, so they can't, they're safe from predators and they can't get out. It's a pretty nice space. That's a goose and a cow, and they are best friends. And they hang out together all the time. The chicken castle. It is a king around here. Oh, he is a king. He is. He is so beautiful. This is Miss Golden Eye, and she has only one eye. Cutie. So we have these two little goats that were rescued recently. We, uh, they're our latest adoptees. And this is Oliver, who is about five, six months old. And he was, a, he was a, gonna be a suckling pig. This is Rufus, he's very friendly. He likes to know what's going on. He likes to look right in the camera. You know what dairy is good for? good for baby for babies, calves. Yeah. That's, that's what it's meant for. I mean, it's really strange, but you know, we're the only species that drinks the milk of another species, and most other species don't drink milk beyond infancy. Right. And so it They're really doesn't make dairy sense. Products, yeah. Like. It, and two thirds of the world really never consumed never consumed dairy until Western infiltration. That's true too. Yes. One of my favorites is the Mount Vesuvius black ash. This is aged the smoked farmhouse, which we saw in the aging room. I can see the gouda. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's really good texture too. Good texture and the mouthfeel and then mm -hmm. the, the lingering smoky flavor. It's a little bit of acidity to it. What do you mention? Yeah. The tanginess and yeah. the smokiness yeah. are really good. Yeah. It's a robust cheese. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a robust breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Both, yes. Yeah.